fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Oh, finally! We are coming back to Ledger. That's right. Ledger fans, feeling you! Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Cider. S-Y-Y-D-E-R. Cider. Cider wanted to watch me react to this song from Ledger called Goner. Now apparently this is a uh, at home session, so this is done during the whole, you know, COVID BS. <laughs> the whole thing where we all have to stay at home, it sucks. But hey, we got, look, we got to do what we got to do, right? But that doesn't mean that you don't get to stop playing music though. Ledger figured it out. She's doing the whole Zoom you know, or Skype or whatever. She's doing a at home session with multiple musicians apparently. Um, it's been a while since we've done some Ledger. I'm looking forward to this. I've missed my girl, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I've been looking forward to getting back to Ledger. It's been it's it's been quite a while since we've gotten to Ledger, so I'm, I'm thrilled to be doing this. This was posted by Ledger, and this song has or this video has 211,653 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's only nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Ledger, goner, at home. I, nothing like the comfort of your own home, right? All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Hey guys, it's Ledger here. We thought we'd do something a little special for you today. Nice. The song is really good. I, I'm digging the song. It's got a good feel to it. Nothing is really blowing my mind right now. Nothing's like, you know, making me go, oh my God, you know, but at the same time, it sounds good. It, it sounds really good. Um, the question going through my mind right now is, is this live? Do it live! And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think it is. I, I'm seeing too many inconsistencies. So, I don't think this is live. I think this is shot live. Uh, but I don't think it was recorded live. I think this is a pre-recording track that they're, you know, shooting a music video to. Which, look, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, I just, I don't think this is live at all. Uh, that's a, Anyway, let's keep going. It's still, it's still a great song. Don't get me wrong. The song's still great. Let's keep going.
think there's a guitar solo here. Yeah, there's just too many inconsistencies for this to be live. I'm, I'm hearing instruments that I'm not seeing being played. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing bass. No one's playing bass. I'm hearing keyboards. Nobody's playing keyboards. The, the vocals, I'm not hearing any breathing at all. No breath. No inhales. And when the microphone is that close to her mouth the whole time, there's no way. There's absolutely no possible way that the microphone being that close, being that sensitive, is going to pick up or not pick up inhales. So, yeah, uh, it, this, this clearly is not live, okay? So let's just get that out of the way. Now, having said that, the song itself, it's catchy. The song is very catchy. It's got a hook. It's got a definite hook, a strong hook. Um, it's melodically pleasing to the ear. The chordal structure makes perfect sense. There's nothing in this song that sticks out like a sore thumb. Like, why did they do that? No, it's it makes perfect sense across the board. Um, the drumming is solid, super solid. Nothing too fancy, but it's solid drumming. Um, the bass sounds uh, locked in with the drums, which is nice. But again, there's no bass player, so this is clearly all tracked. Um but, I mean, it's, it's a good song. It's a great song. If you were to just, look, if you were to just put this, like, take the take the video away. Just completely black screen the video. It would, you would never think for one second that, you know, this wasn't a recording. This was, this is clearly a recording. But it sounds great. Uh, Jen's vocals coming through nice and clear. Great tone. Great, uh, great formation. With, especially with her vowels. Her vowel formation. I've always loved it about her. She's got great vowel formation and, and I mean, just overall diction in general. She's very cleanly dic uh, a very clean diction type of singer. She pronunciates everything properly. And I, I love that about her. She doesn't take any shortcuts, which I love. So let's keep going here. I think we got a guitar solo here. Nice job, though. I mean, the song is fantastic. Yeah, video. Okay, there's there's your proof right there. Video editing and audio engineering. So this was clearly pre-mixed. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's good stuff. I mean, it, the song is good. I, I like the song. It's it's catchy. So yeah, good job overall. Good job. Well, there you go, folks. That was Ledger with Goner. Uh, with an at-home performance. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. It's gonna, it, it's gonna explain a few things. This was a request by Cider, and on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this a 7.4. Yep, 7.4. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, um, the song. Let's talk about the song, okay? The song is simple. Well written, quarterly made sense, everything across the board, engineered very well. Um, it was mixed well. Good layers, good layering. I like. I really liked how this song went into the layers as far as constructing and layering in order. Um, the drums were cutting through the mix, but not too hard. Everything actually, everything kind of shined through, but in particular the drums and the bass. The bass was present, but it wasn't overbearing. 
Um, but you can hear it. You can still hear it. Same thing with the keyboard. You can hear the keyboard, but it wasn't overbearing. Uh, guitars were coming through clean. They were definitely a little more forward in the mix, which, you know, they needed to be. Her vocals clearly at the forefront of the mix, without question. Like, if on a scale of 1 to 10, vocals were like at a 9, you know, and then guitars were like at a 7.5 or an 8. Um, drums were cutting me through at about a 4 or a 5. Keyboards were at about a 3, and bass was also at about a 3. So, you could hear everything layered, just nothing was really bearing the other thing, at least not intentionally. It just, I mean, look, if you put everything at 10, it's going to sound like a mishmash. There's going to be things that are going to outshine other things. There's just, there's no way around that. That's up to the engineer to figure out what sounds best, what mixes best over what. And that's not an easy job. It's really not an easy job at all. Um, the guitar work was nicely done. I feel like it for the, for the type of song that this was, this was a little more poppy, less rock, more pop. And I think what they were doing stylistically definitely fit the song. Not power chords, not long held out chords, more plucking and melodic notes and riffs as opposed and melodic lines as opposed to chordally structured, uh, especially uh, power chord structure. Their tone was also very important as well. No heavy distortion, uh, nice use of chorus and a slight delay just a little bit of a delay or and good reverb usage as well um the drum mixing sounded pretty good from the standpoint of the song overall in general am i a big fan of that reverb snare um it depends on the song in, in this song it definitely fit like if you were to put that in something a little more hard a little more rocking probably not I, I, I mean it probably wouldn't have fit as well but it, it definitely fit here quite well. Um, using the drum pad also, the, the synth pad was nice. It, it gave an option to get some different tones in there. Her vocal performance was really nice. Uh, I, I can't say enough about her diction. She Great diction on her. Uh, good range. Uh, hitting the nose. I mean, obviously, you know, there was some auto-tune involved, obviously. But nonetheless, great vocal performance look you, you can have all the auto-tune in the world if you if you're not able to have a great tone in your voice auto-tune is not going to fix your tone auto-tune is auto not going to fix your diction and your pronunciation auto-tune is not going to fix your projection and your power you know auto-tune will fix your pitch that's all it's going to fix so and even then i mean within reason uh, unless you want to get really extreme with it and you know then you're going to hear the steps and that's going to sound bad so um now it was a really good song overall, okay? Which is why it's getting the really good score of a 7.4. Now, I don't believe for one second that this was live. And, and, I'm, and I'm not knocking them. I'm not knocking them because I, I thought about it. I, I thought at first, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Like a lot of people out there, I at first glance, I felt cheated. I was like, goner at home. This is an at home performance, right? You have to look at the fine print. At no time did they say live performance. They never said this was live. I had to really go and look and see what they said in the description and what it what it was what they were claiming. And all they claimed was an at-home performance. Now that's not to say that the musicians were not playing the song. That's not to say that Jen wasn't actually singing along to the recording that's not to say that they very well could have been but what we heard what was being put out there from an audio output was not live okay but they never claimed it was see there's the hook there's the catch that's why i can't be disappointed that's why nobody can be disappointed they never claimed it was a live performance all they said was it was a performance at home and that's exactly what it was. So, can we be upset? Can we be mad? No, we can't be. We can't be. Because they never misled us. They never lied. So, I can't be mad. <laughs> that's why I was getting the 7.4, you know? If if they had said that this was live, if they, had, if they had dared to put that in the title, this is a live performance. If they had said that and then done this, I would have called them flat out liars and I would have given them a two instantly. 
instantly, but they never claimed that this was live. All they said was performance at home. I believe the drummer was, was drumming. I believe the guitar player was playing the guitar parts. But I didn't see a bass player. I didn't see a keyboard player, but yet we heard them. <laughs> um, Jen's vocals, too many inconsistencies. You know, I, did, I, I kept seeing her inhale, but I didn't hear the inhale. But then she would inhale and I would hear the inhale. You know, and it's like, uh, it's clearly, you know, pre-recorded, so. But again, going back, they never claimed it was live. So that's why they gave the 7.4, folks. It was a great job on a great song. So 7.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base to become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.